No. Hey, everybody. Let's see here. I'm going to do a video on how I got Paris to look like this little miniature Frankenstein. Um, I've shared this to the group, I think. Let me double check. If you hear my kiddos in the background, I'm so sorry. No. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I don't think anybody's popped on yet. Um, if you are just joining, you can always go back and watch from the beginning if you jump on late. Um, okay, let's... Hmm, hold on. We are missing... What are you doing, babe? I'm Frankenstein. You are Frankenstein, yeah. What the? And you bring my MV. Mom? Do what? You bring my F. You bring my Hold F, on, hold Mom. on. You bring my F like a Frankenstein. Hold on. Okay. okay. All right. So, let me just double check. I'm still trying to figure out this OBS um, screen sharing software from the computer. Let me just see here. Okay. So, this is the image that I am starting with. And we are, this is going to be the finished product. A little Frankenstein. Sorry that I'm a day late. We had a lot of festivities. I hope everybody had a safe and happy Halloween. Um, we had a lot of, we went over to my aunt and uncle's and we trick-or-treated their neighborhood. And then we came home and we passed out candy and uh, the little McDonald treat things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. And if you notice in this image, the background's a little more blurred. I kind of have my steps opened up here so that I remember to tell you all everything. So I'm going to select my select tool. I'm going to select my subject. And this does a fairly good job, but look, there is a couple rough spots where it's not exactly curve but we can just come in here and clean it up and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing this because I don't want the edit to be long Let's see here the girls are watching Hunchback of Notre Dame and I keep catching myself like checking it out because I love that Maybe. Hold on. I want to be able to see comments, but without interrupting the editing. So I'm just going to roughly make sure she's selected out of here with our little dancing ants. Whoops. That wasn't good. I'm going to come up here and grab my plus, and I'm going to come back through, just try to get as much of her jacket as I can. It's kind of blending in with the shadows. Let's see. With it blending so much, it's not catching everything. I think that looks pretty good. We'll come around the edges and pick up some loose hairs. Okay, so we are going to select a mask. I have mine set to um, overlay. And then I'm going to come over here and with this little plus we're going to pick up our extra hairs that we've lost along the way. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to come in here. And this is the Photoshop CC with the um, membership. I think it's like $10 a month, and you get Lightroom and 
you get a uh, Photoshop CC and what's nice is you get all of the updates and I'm not sponsored by them nothing like that I just like the product okay so I think we've pretty much got it all and if you want to soften your edges you would just come over here to feather and eventually there you can see where it starts to really blur the edges but I don't want to do it too much so I'm at about 7.5 pixels and I have my output to new layer with a layer mask so I'm going to click OK I'm going to turn my background back on I'm going to select my background again because I just want to blur the background I don't want to actually blur her so filter blur Gaussian blur and you can do as much blur as you like or as little blur as you like I'm gonna go about here and let me see so now we have I'm thinking I messed up nope I'm, I added the exposure at the end okay so now I'm gonna come in with a clean layer and I am going to create a clipping mask because I just want it to affect her. I'm going to find a little bit of green in my image. We wanted a little more of a yellowy green. I'm going to change my blend mode to color. My brush is set to 80. And with this, you just, you know, you paint it onto your liking. You can go as deep with the green as you want, or if you want a really intense green, you can do that. And if you get it on the eyes, that's okay. I'll show you how to take it off. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I thought it was going to pertain to the video. How many people are out there cutting grass this beautiful cold day? I heard a neighbor outside cutting grass this morning and I just couldn't believe it. And I made a, a Facebook post and I was like, oh, who's cutting grass? Um, apparently a lot of people did today. <laughs> okay, so I... That almost looks like a wicked green, like the witch. So I'm going to go back up to 80, and I'm just going to fill in her chest. I'm going to do her arms. Yeah, that's you. But see where we kind of got it on her lips a little bit? We're going to, I'll show you how to take it off, but right now we're going to line all this out. And see how it's on the dress now. Yeah, I'll fix it. Are you watching the hunchback, the hunchback of Notre Dame? No, I want to see that and then. Oh, you want to see the Frankenstein makeup? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was doing that out of my book. Do what? Okay, so if you want to clean up your image, because you can see where I've gotten green on the clothes a little bit, click this little rectangle with a circle. It's a vector mask. And then with a soft black brush, because we have a white mask, so that will take away. So I have my brush at 100%. And if you want to see exactly where you're painting, if you click the little black backs, backslash, excuse me, 
um, you can see exactly where you're painting off of the clothes um, or the skin. And I have to be careful because I don't want to take it off of her skin too much. Luckily, this dress has um, some green hues in it because it's the little, um, we got it at Walmart. The girls were so excited. And um, I'm, I clicked my white and I'm going back in where I accidentally painted it off of her skin. Um, but we, they're super into Descendants, and I don't know if anybody else is, um, but they were super excited because they got a whole, like, section of Descendant clothings from Uma to Mao, and so it's the little <coughs> Descendants clothesline. You can see the green changed her eyes, so we're going to take it off. And then we're going to take it, I'm going to go in with a 50% brush. Don't move my arm, Pear. Pear, you're on my arm, honey. Paris, you're on my arm. I know, but I'm trying to edit this, honey. Okay, so if you notice... Mine is a little bit more of a true green, yellow green, um, and this is more of like the Wicked Witch green. So then what we're going to do, I want to make sure that I have the right thing that I'm doing next. Well, I guess we can add some blush first. So I'm just going to hold Alt, whoops, hold Alt and select her lips. And then I'm going to create a new layer, this little blank page. And then I'm going to turn my opacity down to about 40. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on her cheeks. Maybe too much. Let's see. Go about 20. Okay, so, and then, let's see here my little step-by-steps -steps of what I did. I'm going to turn our vibrance up. You can do it to the whole image or I have, um, not here, I have a vibrance brush and it's only three dollars. Sorry about that shameless plug. Um, then click Hue and Saturation. I want my green to be more uh, of a yellow green, so I'm going to click Greens. Got to make sure we have the screen pretty much set. And we're going to make it a yellow green. We are also going to turn our saturation down just a little bit. Turn our uh, lightness up a little bit on it. And then, it looks like we are going to also change her hair. I'm not sure what I did first. I'm just going to do it how I think I did it in order. I know the gamma exposure is at the end. So the next thing I'm going to work on is her hair. So I'm going to click another hue and saturation layer. And then I'm going to click my reds. And I'm going to select her hair. And then we are going to just make it redder. We're going to draw on the saturation a little bit. And then I'm going to hit control I and if you're on Mac, if you hit command I, it will invert it for you. So now I'm going to hit D and with a soft white brush, we are going to paint it on her hair to give her more of a red hue. Okay, and then 
we are also going to contour. So I'm going to hit Shift Control N. I'm going to click Soft Light. Fill with Soft Light Neutral Color 50% Gray. I, I click that. And then we are going to push D again to reset our brushes. And with this, I'm going to turn my brushes down to about, well, actually, I'll keep, I'll turn it down to about 80 so that way you can see exactly where I'm painting. And right now I have it on um, black. And we're just going to kind of contour the face up a little bit. Normally, a good rule to follow is, you know, wherever the darkness hits, hit that with the with the dark and then um, I didn't do this last time with her eyebrows so I don't think I'm going to and then wherever the light falls you know on her face hit that with the white brush Okay, and we're going to lower the opacity a little bit on that. I'm at 82. I'm going to click shift Control in again, soft light again, fill with the soft light neutral color. And now I'm going to click X, and it's going to switch my brush uh, foreground color to white. And I'm going to highlight all of the spots where the light is just naturally hitting. And I know it looks a little bit harsh right now, but we're going to turn the opacity down just a little bit. I'm at about 66. I'm going to click Filter, uh, Gaussian Blur, and you can see here we're going to kind of feather it a little bit so that it's not such a harsh and then we're going to click blending options and I'm just going to click this layer I'm holding alt and right here on this little side we're going to blend it into a good happy medium so that's what she looks like before we add the stitches and stuff let's see here I'm trying to think these are stitches I'm pretty sure I got all that so it looks like I might have added a little bit of eyeshadow too with the darkness um, so if you want to do that you can you would just click this layer again and switch back to the dark and I'm gonna uh, turn my brush down to about 30 I'm just gonna go over that okay so now um, we're going to add some of our stitches, which I have stitch brushes available. Um, they're on my website and they're only $3 as well. And this is, you know, more of creative preference. You can place them wherever you want them to go. Um, I have, I'm going to change my brush back to 100. And we are just going to oh, create a new layer. And then um, notice that it's a little bit on her dress, so like earlier, create a vector layer. And then with a soft black brush, we are just going to paint that off of her jacket. Oops. And then we're going to create another layer for a new stitch. We got some by the eye. Mm -hmm. 
adding a little bit of a drop shadow to it. And then we are going to add a new layer for more stitches. And this time we're going to go on the arms. So we need to turn our brush just a little bit. This should be good. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. And now it's um, gotten a little bit outside, so again, come in with a soft black brush, and we can paint that off of And we need another one for over here with a single stitch. Create a new layer. Another vector. Okay, so now we have most of our stitches, besides the one in the corner of her head. New layer. And we're gonna I'm gonna make those a little bit bigger. These are smaller, dinkier. Vector, soft black brush. It's really in how much you want to add um, to your image. So now that we have that added, we are going to click this little half half circle. We're going to go to color balance because I want to add a little bit of red into the image, a little bit of yellow. Um, and in the shadows, I want to add a little bit of red and a little bit of blue and highlights a little bit of cyan, maybe a little of yellow because we want her more of the green yellow. So now you can see her skin tones have changed and you can play with that and make it whatever you like. This is just what I like. Um, and then we are going to come, come back over here again to the half half circle click exposure and we are going to bring this slider that says gamma correction we're going to bring it to the right it's going to darken our image quite a bit and it's just going to give it that little um, you know darkness feel I still have my brush set to a soft brush I want it to be soft though so I, I have it completely turned down on the hardness um, and then I'm going to turn my brush down to 50% we have a white mask, so I want her to stand out, so I'm just going to paint this off of her at 50%, and then I'm going to make it smaller through here and really focus, you know, on her face. Now, these aren't going to be exactly 100% the same. You can see there's a little bit more of a matte effect, and my background is more blurred, and if you do want... Uh, the matte effect to your image all you have to do is click this half half circle curves and then add by clicking right here a dot and then you would just draw this up and it'll add you know the matte effect and if you want it painted off of your subject which I did um, 
I still have it set to 50, so maybe at 80. And I just painted it off of, you know, her face and hair and whatnot. And then at 30, brushing it off of her, like, throughout. But it, it still keeps her face more, you know, in focus. So that is how I achieved my little Frankenstein picture. And if you're wanting um, to get the, the same desired effect that I have, um, all you would have to do, like I said, um, from the very beginning, you pick your green color and uh, set your layer in your blending mode to color. Paint her skin. Um, if you want to change your little Frankie's hair, all you have to do is the hue saturation and then invert the layer, paint it over the hair. Um, I feel like the contouring really, you know, makes the image because without it, you know, it's it's not as 3D dimensional and it doesn't, the skin doesn't look as realistic. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just the root of it, excuse me, I'm stretching out. Um, and I do have these stitch brushes in the shop, there are six of them. Uh, I do have highlight and contour brushes that do exactly what I did so you don't have to push shift control in every time. And those both are only three bucks. Um, and I do also have a vibrance brush so you don't actually have to um, every time go into the half and half circle. But I did show you just in case uh, you don't want to purchase anything. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I liked giving it and hopefully... Um, I can do some more. Sorry it's a day late. We were just so busy. So hope you guys have a great weekend.